ACB Journey Storytelling Role Playing Experiment. For that, we will use story cubes. I don't know if you're familiar with them. Cubes with pictures on it. And they're a prompt for us to come up with new stories, with new narratives, and to evolve the overall story. So everything we will create um, starts out from these little dice and the pictures and the sense we create with them. And there's also the board game Untold Adventure Waits, which uses these kind of cubes, which will help us to create some sort of structure for the overall story. And we will act as we would be the characters. When does this episode take place? What do you reckon? Mm, tomorrow. <laughs> so where will it take place? Let's have it take place on the Faroe Islands, a small archipelago situated in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, quite solitary, and they are characterized by high mountains and a lot of green grass. There's more sheep living there than people. and. Adventure. Try to combine Untold with the future game 2050. I don't know if you're familiar with them. First scene. We are at an elderly care home. There is one retired professor living there. He was able to spot an asteroid. And this asteroid is actually not attacking or endangering only the Faroe Islands, but the whole planet. Apocalyptic story. <laughs> Let's see. I will shuffle the card deck. Lucy would like to destroy the telecommunications tower that the Wi-Fi and all the communications goes out on. So Lucy sees this as an opportunity. Yes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> what do you think the asteroid's a good thing? I'm mixing the cards. Wasn't successful. The question is what? Let's see the reaction. If someone falls in love. What could we do to prevent the asteroid from hitting the Earth? And then there's, a, there's an apple and a keyhole. And for me, the apple means gravitation, Newton. Yep. Um, and the keyhole could be a wormhole into a different parallel universe. If one of these satellites now at the moment orbiting Earth in just the right moment crosses um, the path of this asteroid, that it will then be steered away, pulled into the gravitational force of a wormhole and then disappear in that. I tried to hack into the satellite system using my Hacking superpowers. Hey, I can hack into the satellite. It works. <laughs> well, I'm asking the professor if he knows when the second body will impact Earth or if it will impact Earth. That's the ship. Yeah. What's your idea? So, I have it. Um, there is an alien race of very intelligent sheep and they are the ones behind the plot in the first place. Now they have a sister race of sheep that is still today living in the Faroe Islands. So by influencing these sister sheep on planet Earth um, and talking some sense into their bodies back on the home planet, um, we would still stand a chance of um, finding a different ending for that story. Mm -hmm. That's a theory that I have. do the sheep want to destroy earth oh yeah it's their it's their safety their safety umbrella because their own planet is um, at the moment not in such a good position um, so therefore they want to escape um, uh, to, to planet earth as a new safe haven for all sheep so they had sent the other sheep there to check out the place um, now it's been found that it's it's a good place to live for sheep generally speaking 
so the others are coming in. And in order to do that, they first need to make sure that there's enough space for all the sheep. So they are trying to raise a bit of havoc to make sure that it's not too crowded with people. Interesting. Something that will help us to meet virtually with the alien sheep in the same VR space. No! Ah! doesn't work. So we cannot meet with the sheep, but instead we meet with the sheep directly on their planet. We are holograms appearing on the sheep planet. Prevent any communication from the sheep planet going back to Earth, to the Faroe Islands. You are successful. And now we're stuck with the sheep. <laughs> I have a suspicion at least because they had all along the suspicion that Lucy might want to sabotage um, our attempts. She's a genetic project. She's basically a sheep in form of a human being with the passion to destroy technology. Now I fully understand it. Mm, we need to rescue the real Lucy. Yeah. Let's see, it's the final showdown emerging. So we're now stuck as holograms on that planet. Perfect, thank you. That's it. Wow. Roller coaster. Amazing. Well done, us. My key insight was that the twists and turns that you get in plots very often and that you sometimes as a, as a viewer that you marvel at. So, ah, it was that and that objective all along. Um, that this all along is something that you can come up with quite easily and playfully during the course of developing and playing out a story. Didn't like it. Because <laughs> um, I'm not good at jumping in. So there were a couple of times that if you'd given me another 30 seconds, I would have got you know, I would have had something, but I need to think about things more before they come out of my mouth. I liked the, the arc of the story. I think Lucy had a lot more potential, but I just couldn't get her in there. Um, maybe in the sequel. What I found interesting is how some sort of stimulus of uh, a visual picture or something else can really help to get out of this um, stuck in thinking. If you feel stuck, at least I had that once or twice where it was kind of my turn, but I didn't really come up with a spontaneous answer. It was okay to trust the brains in the in the virtual room mm -hmm. and to trust the process to really say, you know what, help me out here, guys. I don't know what to say to, to these cubes. Um, and then usually one of you had a good idea. I found it go, go, got really crazy. We could have played a totally different story in Faroe Island as well, which is just for the island, not the whole world or something like that. Something I experience quite often, we tend to think big all the time. Mm. And then bite off more than we can chew. Probably. Mm. Yeah, I'm clearly the, um, the culprit here of having brought in the asteroid and the sheep race on the alien planet. Totally fine. No, totally fine. And I really, I really enjoyed it. And it's gone so crazy. Um, and I think that there's a learning opportunity here as well. <laughs>